you talking to, Shorty?
Talk to nobody. Can I go, can I, can I go get his paper channel or Toby for you? Come on. They really do not let you do these side quests and everything like that. That's some BS. All done, Grandpa. See you next week. Hello, name is Lewis. What can I do for you on this fine day? Do you sell stars on the side? Of course, my friend, but if you want something refreshing, perhaps I can recommend you my very own white stout. I have apple, cherry, blueberry varietals. But I love star and signs the most when you just got a fresh delivery. But I love star and signs the most when you just got a fresh delivery. Oh uh, well, I, but I have some in stock already. It's per perfectly good. If you let me buy a fresh from the crate, I'll make it worth your while. I I, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, but I have to take inventory in uh their bookkeeping. Why so flustered, Louis? Something wrong, sir? This is my shop. I won't be wrong. I won't be. In my own shop now. Please purchase something or leave immediately. Lewis, I'm a private investor designated with me to talk. What? There's nothing, but if you, if it will make you happy and leave me alone, where are you buying folks crates from? Just my usual wholesale supplier. I love to only sell my own brews, but sadly, people are slow to love them. If they had more taste, then, then. Stocking merchandise from the bike. What? Like, what? Isn't it a bar and club? They don't export anything. Have you heard of Calista Budworth? I've, I've heard of her. Who has it? She owns that bar, the bike. I think it's called. Uh, you know, anything else, perhaps? I'm not sure. I don't. Uh, I'm not familiar with her business dealings, I'm afraid. You got any buyer for those crates? I mean, I haven't even unpacked them, I told you, but you know, how about a free sample of my own porter? Are you really trying to pay me off with hooch? Goodness no, I'm just being hospitable. A drink to smooth things over always helps. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like both these is kind of like kicking the bucket. A bucket. 
I know about the flesh is not nah, need your help. Sir, please, I don't know what this is what it is you're want to hear, but this shop is my life. It's the only thing that matters to me. The truth will set you free. It's time. Uh haha, <laughs> very nicely put, but truths have a habit of trapping you too. Nobody will know you'll be safe. This isn't just about me. If it was, then maybe, but I'm sorry. Please understand. Just leave me. Someone has got to stop Clarissa. Help me. Her, you'll just make things worse. Lewis, I'm investigating Clarissa. I suppose we found a way into the storage room after I dropped the key. I'll take a look. Don't go anywhere. No, why am I talking to the tuna? There's a faded Starling Spider logo on the side. The box is a simple, simple construction of cheap wood with a flat lid. The lid doesn't appear to have a lock on it. There's no obvious way to open it. Why would I punch the lid? Why would, okay, respect the lid. You uh, you run your fingers carefully along each of the lid, edge of the lid. At one point, there's a tiny recess in the side. Lever up the lid. With a little effort, the lid pops up from a screw. Look inside. Relieve the lid out of a number of small packages individually wrapped in thick silvery paper. Come on, no peepee. -pee. We need to do this. You peel back to reveal a night a neat square of flesh. Inspect the flesh. I'm not sniffing it. I'm not putting my nose in it. I don't know what peepee -pee problem is. I understand that I'm a raccoon, but I don't have to be an animal. The flesh is light pink with a stri striated texture. Bruh, why do they make you sniff this shit? There's a melange of intoxicating scent. Sweet, fatty, with notes of acidic tang. Fuck this, I've seen enough. Are oh, you going to jail, Lewis? Hey, Tuna. This nigga going to jail. So you saw an illegal fish fillet with a dangerous black market. Thing I don't know what fish smells like. Uh, some don't smell as fishy as you think. When did you find out what was in the crates? Tell me everything. No one else will give you a chance. But, but if he finds out, I told him when I'll get thrown over the wall. You understand? If you tell a soul, I'm worse than dead. Why didn't you know a box full of flesh, Lewis? I didn't have a choice. Fate conspired against me. But did you try and fight fate? I thought of everything. This was the only option I had. The I had that protected. This was the only option I had that protected the ones I love. Okay. What does Clarissa have on you? Um, it's just why me, why her, and neither of us did anything to anyone, just worked hard and paid our taxes. It's the damn city's fault. Why isn't her medicine free? Her, someone close to you? Miss Bloworth is keeping my sister alive. She pays the medical bills. I even thought about selling the shop, but the woman wouldn't have lasted. People in these boxes have family too. Of course, you found your weakness. Miss Bloodworth may be, not be gentle, but she has a lot a heart, and she hears everything. Maybe, but you know nothing. <laughs> I'm a simple man. I don't need to know the big picture. She takes care of me. All I have to do is throw a crater to here. 
what do you do with the boxes? Nothing. I just look after them until they are re-delivered. A woman calls, asks for the users of one of my boys to deliver the crate to her. I was instructed not to ask questions. I'm pretty sure he don't know the caller. Joey, he doesn't know anything, I swear. I need the delivery address. Her name is Bawa. Bawa is a, all I can tell you. Sir, I can write down the address for you. Is my head is but where it appears of is. Bawahu, tell me more. Your secret is safe with me. Your secret is safe with me, Lewis. Thank you for understanding and listening. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you my name. Will Howard, I don't know about you. Let me escape the train. Um, I'll pass. Oh, <laughs> oh, stop crying like a pansy. Man up, man up. I gotta sit here and watch him cry, bro. Let me move around. I gotta sit here and watch him drink, bro. You let a woman play you. You're missing out before I let me. Thank you, Lucas. I have to go now. Go. What are you going to do? Gonna find out more about this Baldwin character. You weren't forced into this like I was. Why get involved with such nasty business? I would just. You won't like where it leads you. Um, we'll see. Just please swear you won't tell anyone about this. I can't bear to live in even more fear. I won't. I told you I won't. Thank you. Shepherd guide me. Uh, he doesn't give a fuck on our own. I ain't going to say that to this man. Bruh, what? I think it's time you left. One last question. When is this box I expecting to deliver? Well, Joey took a crate over a few days ago. She was expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. Tell Joey he's got to take the day off. I'll take the cigars. I, you can't. They'll suspect. And if it get back to me late, this won't get back to you. Just give me the cigars. Fine, I can't stop you. My life might be worthless, but other people will suffer if you're not careful. Stay safe, Lewis. Crying. I should call her now. Can I get in front of this paper now? Okay, I get it. Just thank you, Howard. Bruh, you asked for it, douchebag. Miss Tilly. Miss that guy that tried to sell us smoke. What? No, I didn't. Don't worry, sir. Lily has a nasty penchant of pivot. <laughs> One of the plethora of reasons to see me after school, young lady. Tough job, huh? Being a teacher has certain challenges and more every day it seems. It's a noble profession. If only the children of people do, but I know it's not personal. Probably is to be honest, oh shit. <laughs> hey now, yes, they can be surprisingly cutting, but that's just the glory of that adolescence. Um, so I think about not for a second, and I'm exactly where I want, need to be. And where is that exactly? Being there for children, many of them don't have any other guidance in their life. If you're doing good work, I'll leave you to it. Check these little hoes. Out here smoking cigarettes.
on listening. I just said I'm gonna peep through the window. You feel like you're not listening to me? I have a delivery. It was a good idea, but that was weak and messed up part. Huh. One thing at a time. You do see me have a habit of being in pain, whatever works. I might just gonna take my time to make this thing shit. I just gonna pause. do some other stuff. Welcome kind version of some honey nut glazed apple stick. Here you go, that'll be three wings, thanks. Thank you, goodbye, I'll get out of here. I'm just gonna buy the cigarettes. I don't know if I'm gonna need them later, so. button a seat partner. My name is Finn. I'm afraid we have three problems of only a little greater than who we couldn't pre invited. I have a delivery for this bottle. Ah, uh, yes, there's a delivery boy on the list. He's in apartment 1144, 11th floor. Mm, I'm not about to have a conversation with a bellhop. Well, not, not a bellhop, a concierge. So. Hey, what do I look like to you? Sorry, what? You heard me, fool. Uh, a lazy rich fool. Ha, you got that part right, but I work for a fool. Doing what? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, I did ask, motherfucker. <laughs> you don't live here. Oh, what gave it away? You're a striper, that's what. Just making a delivery. Probably, but it's not for you. Client confidentiality, I'm afraid. Don't you know who I'm at, you know? 
come on, like just sticking their nose in. Like, it's my business to know the business of others. And not, and it's my business to not let weird wolves make me wait. Ah, uh, you got mocked, you fool. I like someone who can make me laugh. You're hired. What? Ah, uh, come on, baby. Give me your plan. They're looking real face, though. Bro, don't call me you baby, you weirdo. I'm done with this shit. Ah, uh, oh, baby, you're fake. Uh, by you absolute weirdo. Remember me, ba bro. Stop calling me baby, you freak, bro. What is what is wrong with this man? Pause. I got it delivered for you. Ah, uh, the cigar. Right. This was a doctor order. Hmm. I want to charm her. Because I need to um, get in her, her apartment, right? Indeed. Where's Joey today? He's not feeling great. I'm gonna stand there. Oh, fine. What about the payment? I have an arrangement with Lewis. It's taken care of. Oh, of course. My mistake, Miss Bosman. It's no trouble. Oh, will you ask Lewis for another special case in a couple weeks? Uh, I'll pass on the message. Will there be anything else? A special case of what? Lewis will know. Uh, certainly. Hmm. Should I keep pressing? I don't know. What if he does? Stop prying. He can leave now. Fine. Bosler has just been made trying to have a apartment where he belongs to. Looks cold inside, okay, I'm being a creep, I'm being creepy. Why oh, you couldn't jump that? Should I put it back so they won't suspect me of Yeah. I 
ain't trying to be suspicious, you know, I'm trying to just get in and get out without even being able to be detected. I don't want nobody to even know I was there. The city looks so strange from this here. Said it's easy to forget. There are people struggling now. I'm petting that damn fucking goose. Should be right outside the side of the maid's apartment. Who really is it? It's closed on a latch. Oh wait, it's actually open the tiniest bit. If I had something thin enough to slide through it and lift, well shit, I don't have anything. Looks like there looks like there's renovations going on. Maybe I can find some kind of tool nearby. Right there. Funny nice. Don't care why you're here. Saw you climbing. Nice move. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. Just getting some fresh air. Yep, me too. You have a nice butt. What? What? what this thing is on? What is? What are you? Uh, freaking. Uh. Thanks. My pleasure. Uh, is that catnip you're smoking? <laughs> Um, can you keep our secret? Sure, both of you assume I'll remember you from tomorrow. Not even my butt. In case I won't forget. <laughs> That's good to know. Bye, baby doll. Um, bye, gorgeous. I bet the puppy might spend enough to fit. Okay, just speak out. Easy now with the hatch and boom, now here it is. I can lever it open enough to climb through. There's no one side. Fuck how you're at it again. This ranks the second crazy I've done since this week. Yeah. I'm in way over my head. I need to quickly figure out who lives here tomorrow. This has an upsetting taste to quick fill. Except for Sean. Uh, not this guy. Shelf keeping books secretly open for hidden rooms. Wait. Ridiculous. Professor with the knowledge. Oh, hello, mister. Are you lost? That's a friend. I'm new part of <laughs> hell. You look funny. Funny, weird or funny? Ha ha. You're a strange one, aren't you? I'm super ordinary. So what are you doing? Um. I'm a cleaner. They say cleaners are absurd because their own houses are probably full of rubbish. Cleaners are people too. What does Daddy do? My father is the research and development secretary. He's the secretary of research and development. Aha. Uh -huh. And my daddy is in charge of all the police. And my daddy is in charge of all the police. He's more important. Do you live here? No, we live in our own house, dumb. Damn. I hate talking to kids in games, bro. Cause they some assholes. Do you know whose house this is? I don't know. Daddy calls him Big Boss. Does Boss have a name? When I grow up, I'm never going to do any work. <laughs> the first thing is it's probably true. What do you do instead? Theo here is like to just likes to annoy me and play with her dumb dolls. You think dolls reinforce bigoted stereotypes too, huh? You got a better idea? I'm going to be like the bit boss and have the biggest of stars. I'm not sure it's better than her plan. 
kids can have in your favor. Daddy says a single favor can be priceless, but more than one makes you worthless. I'll owe you both one great big favor. That depends. What do you want? My boss will be angry if I'm talking to you. Let's keep it a secret. Yes, yeah, because you're getting lazy instead of working. Yeah, exactly. And I need this job to pay for stuff. Our stuff is better and we didn't have to work for it. Mm -hmm. Look, the grown-ups will be angry at you too. No, they won't, would they? They're distracting the service and doing our work. Hmm. Which one sounds more realistic to them, like? Hmm. But it could be fun to watch you get shouted at. I can do that, you know. Shout. And what do you think they'll say to you afterwards? Damn, I shouldn't have said that. I should have went with the other one. Nothing. I'm daddy's favorite. Yeah, so why aren't you with him right now? Hmm. Do I threaten this little jackass or do I? What about you, boy? I do hate it when daddy shouts. What are you doing in here anyway? We snuck in here. What are your parents doing? Fire, there's not much in it for kids. Just to see if we could. I won't snitch on you if you don't snitch on me. Fine, you got yourself a deal, mister. Dio, take a peek. We can sneak. Can we sneak out? No, you peek. I don't want to. I'm not doing it. Can I, can I walk away? No, you. No, you. Damn it! Thanks, mister. Favor repaid. I'm about to get caught. They about to punch my ass. It's a lion and an ape. A orangutan. What are they, some swingers or something? What the fuck? What is going on here? Oh, are they having like a dinner or something? didn't see but it smells kind of funny there's something they don't want you to know I'm not about to tell them what's really going on in there they gonna fucking trip out no I don't want to try I'm sure they'll let you try some if you're good ask your parents about it what's it called Monkey butter guy. <laughs> I have no idea it's a grown up thing. Um Monkey Butter Guy. That's a really weird name. Yeah, well I didn't make it up. It's for grown ups with fancy taste. Weird than the name, better it tastes. Delicious, I'm excited. Also, some things can only be appreciated by grown ups. That's true. Most people can appreciate the best thing. Daddy told you that too. Yeah, he's never wrong. I better get back to work. A quick glance reveals a stack of various documents, letters, and notes, all with annoyingly small print. Right, the name of the owner of the study should be in there somewhere. No time to look through them. The wood has perhaps rubbed with scented and oil that smells of power and success. There are a few closed drawers and empty mugs that some people have seen. Them. Open the drawers, they're locked, toilet won't be designated, no chances. 
perspective for it. It's a copy of Nature of the Demons by Jordan Rain. Um, I don't wanna. I don't really care. It's one of those hateful, masquerading, egalitarian philosophy that fascists love. Let's visit his apartment. You never seen a desk with a secret compartment that doesn't stop you from hoping you find nothing. Give up on finding a cool secret compartment. Why do I have to take the freaking mug? There's a time and place for fantasizing about secret compartment. Plain white mug is going to be a ring and big red is stop searching the desk. It's too risky to search more thoroughly. Someone might come in at any moment. Get up out of here. You know what with that one i'm gonna end it right here i'm gonna pick it up in a later episode maybe tomorrow i'm gonna keep streaming all right don't forget to like share and subscribe for me and i'll see you guys tomorrow